Hello, it's Rob. Um, got another Chinese pen to re uh, review today. The Wingsong 3001A. Um, it's a cheap pen from China. Uh, what you will notice is that these things occasionally are sold as Wing S. The manufacturer seems to change their name or logo. I don't really fully understand the whole naming um, of their company. Because I think it's something like... Uh, I think... Overall, it's some uh, company name like Shanghai Pen Industries, anyway. But Wingsong, probably wrong on that, but anyway, it's a Wingsong 3001. Uh, these were supplied as 3001A. I'm not entirely sure if that is a official model number. Um, but anyway, cheap Chinese fountain pens. The reason <coughs> I say cheap is because a job lot of these from a seller on eBay will cost you roughly about £1.40 per pen which works out a little bit cheaper than buying them individually if you want a range of colours um, <clears throat> worth noting these pens are uh, yeah, very plastic but um, are they any good? in my mind yes they are they're really, really quite good pens. I enjoy writing with these. They're actually quite a pleasure to write with. And the reason being that for Chinese, cheap Chinese fountain pens, <clears throat> when I started off on this fountain pen journey, I uh, did an awful lot of, uh, tried out a lot of the uh, Jin Hao pens. And I find that when you write with most of the Jin Hao pens, when you get about um, maybe two thirds through the page, the feed it's a bit of ink starvation and the thing starts to write a bit dry so you've got to prime the feed which is to be honest a bit of a pain <clears throat> I wouldn't expect to have to do that with any pen you know it's <laughs> there's fiddly and then there's sort of things you don't mind messing around with I don't mind messing around with fountain pens but I don't have time to unscrew the barrel prime the feed Try and wipe off any, any excess uh, ink from the from the nib and feed, and then try uh, try to carry on writing with it every half page, and it's just not a pleasure. So, looks of the pen. Um, I'll go through the dimensions to begin with. Uh, the length capped is thirteen point nine centimeters. I'll use the white one; shows up a bit better. Here. 13.9 centimetres. Uh, uncapped, so screw cap is 12 centimetres. Posted, and this pen does post just like a ballpoint type biro pen. Um, very s simple, you know, it's secure, it fits, it's great. <clears throat> that, uh, the length posted is 15 centimetres, so it's quite long. And to be absolutely honest, I can quite happily write with this pen posted um, um, or unposted it's comfortable to hold um, the diameter of the section we've got a bit of a flare at the bottom with the taper up to the uh, threads there uh, the diameter in the middle there is 0.7 centimeters the barrel diameter is 0.9 centimeters weight overall is 13.2 grams, so it's quite a light pen. It's all plastic, apart from the metal clip and the nib. Um, uncapped weight, 8.6 grams, and the cap weighs 4.6. So, um, the pen itself, I'm going to use this, it is available in a range of colours. So, we've got the white, and they all seem to come with gold clips and trim. Red, green, and also a bottle green stroke dark teal colour. I think this pen looks a little bit 80s. Um, if I found these pens in a drawer that I'd left, probably full of stationery from 1985, and I pulled these out, I'd probably think, yeah, it's that era. I don't know what there is about it, whether it's the colours. Uh, the gold clips certainly seem to add something to that, and it's also the slightly cheap feeling plastic. Um, at the very top of the cap there is a finial that goes down, I'm assuming screws into 
connects the, uh, the rest of the cap with a band that holds the clue, part of the clip. So all of that is one piece, and that's held in place there. Further down, you've got this painted on gold um, couple of bands that go around the pen. A couple of Chinese characters, which I'm assuming are Wing Sung, and 3001. There's no A on there, even though this is the 3001A pen as sold. No idea. Unscrew it. A few, a couple of turns. Nothing really inside the cap of any interest. The section's quite smooth. It's comfortable to hold. There is no step up, but there is a gold-coloured band no. there. Excuse my dog barking at the children. He can't stand children. <laughs> Uh, there's some threads there which really you can't feel. If anything, it could be a bit of a grip, but no, it doesn't even interfere with the uh, the grip of the pen at all. So, very comfortable pen to hold. There's nothing on the section at all, smooth plastic. If you've got really sweaty hands, maybe, then yeah, you might find it slides a bit, but you know, I, I, I've not had that issue. Um, these pens come get one which is un-inked. Right. I have found that these pens often come unscrewed. So you do have to, I'm not sort of tightening it up like that, but you do have to make sure it is tight. Otherwise the whole thing seems to come unscrewed. And quite often, this is exactly what happens, the converter will come away with the barrel, or it certainly will be loose. Um, the, Standard international cartridge converters that these are supplied with, you know, it's just basic piston up and down, pressure fit, push, uh, friction fit, so that just pushes in there. For some reason, sometimes they just seem to come out. So, a bit of an issue, but not a big one. I've not had, uh, had any issues with it. Um, inside these converters, there is an agitator, and so there's a little metal spring which breaks up the surface tension of any ink in there so you get a better flow if you're getting a bit low on ink perhaps I don't know how it works but I like the idea it's a bit more of a pain to clean um, but you know it's quite a nice thing to have especially if you've got any ink with particulates in like glitter inks things like that um, and I really really like this pen we'll show you one issue with it, in fact, use the red pen, it might show up a bit better, now, there we go, let's turn the light on, there we go, right, can you see the red on there, this is filled with red ink, and there are drops of red ink all over the nib, it's a messy pen, the Jin, uh, Wing, Jin, uh, Wing Song 3001A is definitely a messy pen. Um, for some reason, it blobs ink, <coughs> and it might be when you're uncapping it, something like that. But occasionally you'll find a little bit of ink on the section, but certainly you're almost always going to find ink on the nib, which uh, is, you know, it's not a big deal, but it's messy. The nibs, I believe, are all fine. One thing I do like about all of the uh, these nibs, that with the feeds, is the uh, the feed is clear. It's transparent. So whatever ink you put in, and you'll see it in this red version while I've got the light on. There we go. So I filled this up with a nice red ink, and that's gone through to the feed. So you can see red ink through the feed, which is you know it's quite a nice thing. So, do a bit of writing. Let's turn the light off now. There we go. So, range of colours, cheap pen. And we'll start with the white version, which I have filled with black ink. So, stick the cap on there, post it. So, the pen is the Wing Song 3001 and they're calling it A I don't exactly know if it 
it is an A version of this model, but you know that's what it was supplied as. Um, and the nib is a fine, and it writes really well. Why do I say that? Well, quite honestly, it's for a fine, it's quite smooth. There is some feedback. It's wet. Certainly for a fine it is really, really quite wet. Um, and it keeps up well. I don't have any issues with these pens at all. I've got the red one filled with red ink at work, and this one filled with black at the moment, and they write really well, consistent. I can leave them for a couple of weeks, no hard starts, the right first time, there's no skipping, no feed issues, I can write and write and write, pages and pages with these, and they keep up as good as they are when you know you first ink them up. They're really, really good. And in fact, even when the ink's getting low, there's no way to tell that the ink's beginning to run out. It just, you know, they, they write, they just keep going. So, I'll do a bit of a writing sample now. Is what it is. Try a bit faster. Yeah, a little bit scratchy, but as you can see, no skipping, nothing like that. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of Add a little bit of pressure, not much line variation. Nothing really, you know, it's quite a stiff nib, but you know, it's a fine, it, it writes quite well. Um, not noticing a lot of shading with it, obviously, but you know, it can be dependent on the ink. Um, you know, it's, it's not bad. not massively wet which is a surprise because it really does look like it and feel like it's a wet writer um, try that again yeah, no, not, not really um, oh, by the way, the ink there we go, get back in shot is Waterman Intense black. Um, overall, I am really, really happy with these pens. I shall show you the red one just to prove that it, these things are consistent. As you can see, this red pen has already decided to do a bit of uh, damage to this page already. <laughs> they are blobby, but I don't care. They actually write really nicely. To be honest, this is one of the reasons that I'm not posting these caps very often. Um, because if you've got ink inside the cap, which you will have with these pens, you post that on there, you take it off, you're going to end up with ink all over the place. So, I don't recommend posting this. So, this is the same. It's the Wing Song 3001A. And the nib is fine again, it's still the same. And yeah, it's a consistent pen. It's not often I've had 
more than one model of a Chinese fountain pen. <clears throat> so certainly not the gin house I'm speaking of uh, here. Where each one is written really, really well, but certainly the wing songs do seem to uh, seem to do it. And it is it's a good pen for the price. It really is an excellent little pen. So it's a consistent pen. Um, just write down the ink for you, which is once again Waterman ink, and it is Waterman. Let's see if you see shot audacious red. So <clears throat> cheap pen. I can really recommend it. It's not going to break the bank if you just want a throwaway sort of, well not a throwaway, but a sort of disposable thing that you don't mind having in the uh, office using, you know, and you want something that writes reliably for, well, not much more than a pound, this is a really good pen to try. So it's well recommended. I'd certainly uh, recommend it and I will carry on using these pens. They will be in my current rotation, so you know, I'll get through pens that I use at home and at work. Um, but I can see this one being <laughs> remaining in my bag at work in one or more of its colour variants for quite a while because it is quite a useful little pen. It's consistently, uh, uh, consistently good writer, it's wet enough, and it's reliable. It's all I can really ask from a pen, so I'm really happy with the Wing Song 3001A. Recommended little pen. Thanks for watching.